Following up tonight on a story we first reported in February, the state's Department of Transportation wants the legislature to change the way the agency is funded. Right now, they say that what they're getting isn't enough and they can't plan ahead as much without more certainty in the funding. Lawmakers did direct dollars to MDOT this year, but... The thing is, it's one-time money. So this time next year, we'll be back at the well with our hands out needing an infusion of funds to keep our programs going. See, Executive Director Brad White and the commissioners had made requests for a dedicated revenue stream. I don't know how we can avoid going backwards without reevaluating how we fund this. He'd suggested diverting a percentage of the unobligated use and gaming taxes to MDOT, but that idea didn't pick up the steam they'd hoped during the session. What that means for you is pretty simple. Less projects. The money that we have is not going as far. The cost of asphalt has gone up. The cost of labor has gone up. So as, as our money is flat, you're going to see fewer projects being done because the money simply doesn't go as far. Uh, and that's just in the maintenance side. But new construction faces the same fate for now. You get over into our capacity construction where we try to add efficiency to the system by building a, a four lane from a two lane or a bypass, et cetera. Uh, those projects will ultimately be shelved again. Eight capacity projects that were further along did get funding from lawmakers, but in order to add capacity to our highway system, White says they've got to move beyond one-time money like that. I'm not discouraged. I mean, I, I don't believe there's anyone under the Capitol Dome that's anti-transportation. I just think they had a lot of big items this past session to deal with. Uh, but I do think they recognize the issue, and I think they recognize that it's going to have to be addressed sooner rather than later. Speaker Jason White mentioned this request for a change in transportation funding when speaking with reporters last week. He says it will be a significant part of the conversations around tax reform, not only when they return in January, but as he gets a committee together to discuss potential impacts.